crocheting a new hat project. Oh, it's starting to curl on me. Um, I've been having fun making simple beanies. Uh, yeah, this one's gonna be for me, hopefully. <laughs> While Miley's doing her schoolwork. And you have to make me a hat. Yes, I'll make you one next. I started one for Harper. I've got to get more yarn for that because I ran out of that no, color. Um, I don't know what's the color. Yeah, you want a different color. That's fine. What color do you want? Don't know. You want to go look in the craft closet? Mm -hmm. okay. I made Miley one too, and I've got to sew the. Yep. <laughs> we got to get a pom pom for the top. That's what we're waiting for, huh? Mm -hmm. yeah, so Addie's been crocheting too, and she made this water bottle. What would you call it? Water bottle holder? Yeah, or purse. Yeah. Water bottle purse. Yeah. <laughs> and she didn't follow a pattern. She just kind of made it up, which is like mind blowing to me, but. <laughs> I should make I mean, you one. Mom, oh. I should make you one. Yeah, you're going to make me one? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I can make one. It's very cute. She's making one for Taylor, too. Mm -hmm. have you... I have this part done. I just yeah. need to finish the strap. Yeah. She was working on that last night. And then Addie, Addie also made, made a little worm. An apple. And an apple for it to go in. And Miley named him Adam. 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 Because the meaning of Adam is dirt, and earthworms eat dirt. That was very creative. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, I love it. It's so cute. So we've been That's having a lot bed. of fun crocheting. I couldn't find it. Yeah, and Reagan's been learning. She's been chaining, <laughs> making a and, long... Uh, um, first thing in the morning on church today when you, you did it, I did a yeah, lot. Yes, you did. You did a lot. You're getting really fast. Um, You're doing very good. Now he's in the hole. Mm -hmm. He ate so an apple. Yeah, so there's a hole in the apple for him to go through. <laughs> good morning, everybody. I say good morning. It's 11 o'clock. So we have gotten our schoolwork done. <laughs> Got our schoolwork done fairly early this morning. Um, we, oh, I forgot. I wanted to make that garland. So we're doing an advent. We're supposed to make a garland today. We'll have to do it this afternoon. Are you okay? Okay, let's try this again. <laughs> Sorry. So Miley got her foot scraped. She's okay, it didn't break the skin, but you know, those hurt, so. Had to check her, make sure everything was okay. So, what are we doing today? We got our schoolwork done. Fairly early, we started early today, which is amazing. We did our reading. I In our advent, we're, we were supposed to make a garland today, so I'm thinking we'll do that later today, or we can do it tomorrow. Um, okay. Okay, I'm now Drew needs help. You okay? It's kind of comical at this point, me trying to get a sentence out. Drew needed help putting his shoes on. We are leaving. It's today's Friday, y'all. It's Friday. <laughs> Excited for the weekend. And I've been promising the kids to take them to the indoor playground that we like to go to. So we are doing that. That's how come we got our schoolwork done early. But I have to stop and do a couple errands before we make it to the playground. Um, I've got stuff at the Dollar General. So last night, Nathan and I went out shopping for some Christmas presents. We were hoping to go to Walmart and I need a poster board for Jackson's project that I told y'all about. We didn't make it to Walmart. So I've got to stop and get that poster board today at the dollar store. What? Yeah, you ready to go? And I got to stop by the bank as well. So anyways, <laughs> craziness. And then we're going to the part, the, pl the indoor playground. That's what we're doing today. Change of plans. We're at a different park. We're going to an outdoor playground because it's a beautiful day. Yes. Hey, darling. Can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Hey, darling. We could get out of town See the beautiful world around Wanna see it now Pack our bags and get in that car Leave a little note and we'll drive real far Let's get out, we can leave this city You okay? Yeah, that works. Miley's cutting up an orange and she got some of the 
juice sprayed up into her eye. You sure that you're okay? Yeah. <laughs> okay, we are back home from the park and we got the little ones down for a nap. So, and did some, you know, normal pickup cleaning, another load of laundry, all the things that happen many times a day. So I wanted to talk to you guys about Vlogmas. I've had many questions asking if we were gonna do Vlogmas. So two years ago, I did five videos a week for Vlogmas. So for those of you who do not know, Vlogmas is a video, a vlog every day in December. So instead of doing every day, I did five videos a week two years ago. And then last year I did four. Um, <laughs> I honestly, I should have said something like in the video that y'all saw on Friday and I just didn't think about it. I've had it on my mind about Vlogmas, but didn't, I didn't say anything in the video. So what I'm thinking that I'm going to do this year is I'm going to aim for four videos a week. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> the kids are watching a show in the background in the schoolroom and it was loud and it was just distracting me and I could not focus. So moving over here, say hi to Logan. <laughs> so for this year, I'm going to shoot for four videos a week, maybe five if I happen to get ahead. Right now I'm not ahead. So this is kind of biting off a little bit much. That girl, I tell y'all. <laughs> so I'm going to shoot for four. If I don't get to it, like it's just fine. As y'all can imagine, we are very busy. Um, so I'm just going to do what works. Um, and that will probably be what I normally put out. I've been trying to work my way back up to four videos and some weeks I've hit it, some weeks I haven't, but so it, it a lot won't change during Vlogmas, but we will be showing, you know, the fun things that we're doing during Christmas time and take y'all along, you know, for vlogs and that sort of thing. But I've had a lot of questions about it. So I just kind of wanted to explain what I was doing. <laughs> so four videos, um, maybe five. I don't know. We'll see. But my goal is to try to do four. So just, I'm laughing at myself because I am not ahead right now. And so we will just kind of have to see how this week goes. So this week might only be three videos and then going forward, hopefully, you know, I can work on getting ahead and it'll be four to five videos for the rest of December. So I'm a little late to the game, but that's just how it's going to go this year. So I just wanted to fill y'all in, especially since I've had so many questions. Yo, just, I'm telling you, I have no idea what happens. It's just it's mind-boggling to be sometimes. So I walk into the kitchen. I'm about to start something with that friendship. Not friendship, the Amish Amish friendship bread starter. And there's just like water on the floor. I don't this and this what is it? I say, you know, what happened? Where did, who spilt water or something? It's always like, not me. So it is not me and nobody did it live at your house too. Like, anyway, so got that cleaned up. Fun times. Um, but I'm going to start something with this Amish friendship bread starter. So here it is. I honestly think I was supposed to cook something yes, the day before yesterday. So last night I fed it again, like as day 10. And so I'm going to portion this out into Ziploc bags and then I'm going to make just the traditional loaf of bread. And I think the Ziploc bags I'm going to put in the freezer um, and then I can just pull it out whenever I want to make something. That's what I read on the blog that they did. I don't know. I'm going to read some more tonight and see, but that's kind of like my game plan right now because I need to do something with it, but definitely make a loaf of bread today. All right. Figured out the water culprit. It was Drew. Uh, he had a water bottle and it had spilled. There was a towel on the floor, so it was like he was trying to clean it up. You know, it looked like a three-year-old tried his best. <laughs> so, found it out. The kids who were saying not me, it really wasn't them. Well, I got busy talking and not filming. Oh my goodness, I got a lot going on. I need to stop and focus on dinner. So I'm getting the pasta sauces ready. And all I have to do is add the noodles. So this is a jar of pasta sauce, meat, and chicken broth. This is extra meat that I'm cooking up that will go in the freezer just for nights, you know, whenever I need something easy. So this is almost, almost there, almost cooked through. Maybe I should turn that up just a little bit. Y'all, I wanted to make this Amish friendship bread and it calls for a vanilla pudding mix. I don't have any. I ran up to Winn-Dixie to go get some. 
and they were all out. So I looked up like a DIY version and it was a cup of sugar, three quarters of a cup of dry milk, three quarters of a cup of cornstarch. That's a lot. So I don't know, and vanilla and salt. So I don't know that this is gonna work in the bread. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. I, right now I'm thinking I will just use two cups of this mixture for a loaf of bread because that just seems like a lot, right? Like this is a quarter cup measuring. I don't know what I'm doing. All right, here's my bowls. The rigatoni bake and Caesar salad. Oh my goodness, y'all. So the Amish bread is in the oven. That's good news. I'll continue my story. You'll understand why I'm starting with good news. It smells really good. The kids keep coming in. What are you making? It smells amazing. It really does. So here's the bad news, y'all. Oh my goodness. So trying to get dinner, or I'm trying to get the bread done, get dinner on the table. Kids are helping, you know, move stuff around and put things up in the pantry and set the table. Okay, you know, like there's many, there's many things happening at once. And in putting something up in the pantry, the crock pot, I actually, it was my fault. I didn't put it up where it belongs. You know, anyways, it got knocked over and it broke. So no longer have a crock pot. <sighs> anyways, it's okay. You know, accidents happen, things get broken. Well then Nathan's, I hadn't cleaned it up yet. Like I knew it happened. I looked at it, but I was in the middle of finishing dinner and all of that. So I was like, you know, I'll get to it as soon as I'm done. So it's still sitting there. It wasn't even sitting there for 10 minutes. Nathan comes home from work and literally is like walking in. We're getting stuff out of the fridge to go towards dinner. I'm not exactly sure how it happened, but um, somehow with closing the refrigerator, the shelf and the door got cracked and broke. And so all that stuff came crashing down. So now I have to get a shelf for inside the fridge. <laughs> I honestly don't even know how that happened. It was, I don't know. Anyway, so in the matter of 10 minutes, crock pot broke and the shelf broke in the fridge, but dinner got eaten. It's halfway cleaned up. I got to finish doing the dishes and we got to sweep them off tonight. Um, and of course the mountain of laundry that we always have. And then we'll have the bread later and I'll let y'all know what that is. <laughs> it's just never a dull moment. All oh. chaos. This bread smells amazing. So what's the verdict? Is it good? Yeah. Should I, I make it again? Bread. I broke my tongue. Hmm. It's on my thing. <laughs> Let's have it for the movie. Mm -hmm. Oh, good morning, y'all. It's the next day. Totally forgot to close out the video. Um, so I'm gonna close it out now. Maybe start another one today. Where you at? Say hi. Mm -hmm. Can you say thanks for hanging out with us? Thanks for hanging out with us. And we'll see you. Later. Say next time. Next time. Say bye. Hey, darling. Can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city.